Hello Zebrahood, welcome back to SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Today, I wanted to complete the game 100% by going through and getting all the possible socks that we might have missed throughout the game. That's gonna take us a while, of course, but as you can see, there are some levels like uh, Goo Lagoon here, which have nine out of 11 socks. Same thing with like Bikini Bottom, we still have five socks to find here. So that's sort of my goal for right now, is just to go through each level and find as many as possible. I'll try to go through the order that we actually originally went in the levels with. Uh, but with that being said, maybe it'd be best to start with uh, Jellyfish Fields, we still have five more socks to find here, so there isn't really an easy way to do it. We just sort of have to go and get it done. But also between episodes, I did grind up more of the shiny so that eventually later in today's episode, I'll also go to Mr. Krabs and exchange some of those for even more golden spatulas. So we should be sort of all in well be able to finish the game 100% as far as I understand in today's episode. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I think our first sock is right up this way. I don't think I was ever up here before, but yeah, I can jump off of that and get up this way, and there's a sock waiting for us. So what I can do with this one, then, is I guess jump on these. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Awesome. So, of course, once we get all the socks, we can exchange them with Patrick, but there's the first sock that I've missed in this level. There's still four more to find somewhere, though. I know that one of them, I need to go all the way back down there with Patrick, but I need to find a bus stop for that. So a lot of you were letting me know that there's another one that I missed on this slide section. And in this episode, we're gonna be jumping around a lot, so I hope that's okay. But yeah, right up here, I don't know how I missed that. It's pretty obvious. But I can just, yep, right there, get ourselves another sock. So that's already pretty good. We're only looking for, I think, three more. And I know that there used to be one up there, but we already got that one. So yeah, there's another one done. So this is shortly after where we unlock Patrick for the very first time in the game. And I guess what we gotta do is just right over this way, we can go to the bus stop, and I can go all the way back to the beginning of the level with this and unlock another sock with Patrick there. Okay, so we finally made it. This is right at the beginning of the level, and right up here we have one of the ice cubes for Patrick. We can just pick this up and give it a toss, and you can already see it over there. So just gonna go over there and grab it, no problem. And I think this is sock number 12, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, you know, obviously it's our ninth sock right now. But if we take a look here, it's our 12th sock. So we're still looking for two more somewhere throughout the level. Oh, okay, so here's another sock. So we are um, in the Jellyfish Lake, something like that. This is where uh, Mrs. Puff was. And we're all the way up here. We just sort of kept going up and up. And I guess there's a spot for Patrick as well. I don't know what that's for, but as you can see right down this way, pretty easy actually, Patrick just to pick one of those up. So we're just looking, I think, for one more sock, right? So I gotta figure out where that might be. Aha, there it is. So this is actually past where I already was, over here on uh, Jellyfish Fields, or not, uh, Jellyfish Caves, whatever this is supposed to be. Uh, there is a sock up there, so I have to be able to get that some way. I feel like I ran into that, but I just couldn't get to it, so I just sort of gave up. I'm not sure, but I should be able to toss this here. Is that enough just to get it? Yep, there it is! Alrighty then, so there's every sock in Jellyfish Field. We still have lots to do though, so uh, we've already done Goo Lagoon. Actually, no, we're, we're still missing two. Oh yeah, it was Downtown Bikini Bottom. We've already gotten all the socks there on the first try. So Goo Lagoon has two socks missing, so I gotta find out where they are now. So I'm pretty sure that there's one in this giant sandcastle area uh, where we had to go in with Patrick, because I remember seeing that and going, oh, I'll do that some other time. <laughs> yep, there it is. So what we gotta do here, I believe, is we just gotta go up to that place where there's the ice cube right over there. Uh, so I'll just do that in just a moment. Maybe I can shortcut it, awesome. <laughs> that was actually really good. So I'll let the water raise a bit more, or as much as I can, okay, sir, don't you think I was doing something? Uh, come on, let me keep going. I don't think it gets any higher than that, so let's hope we can make that jump, because if not, I'm a little confused. Yep, there we go. So there's our first sock of this level for today's episode. We still have one more sock to find somewhere. Oh, I think I see it right behind that sign right there, food drinks. So I guess we could get up maybe from here. Yep, there we go. And there it is. So there we go. There is all of the uh, socks in Goo Lagoon. So let's move over to the next area now. So we've already done Goo Lagoon. There's none in Poseidon, of course. Uh, Downtown Bikini Bottom, Industrial Park. Uh, jellyfish fields, those are all cleared out now, that's awesome. So I guess the next area we were going to move over to would have been uh, the Mermelair. We got all the socks there. Uh, Sand Mountain, we needed two socks there. So I guess we'll go ahead and do Sand Mountain now and see what socks I might be missing. Oh, here we go, up on top of the tunnel over here. I forget which one this is, I think it's, oh no, hold on. <laughs> I think we are at the, yeah, the, the, the Flounder Hill. There was a sock on top of there. So just one more sock left to find here and then we're done. That's pretty cool. So I'm playing as Sandy, and I think what I gotta do is get up this way. Yeah, this looks a little weird. I saw this before. So what is going on? Oh gosh, I hope we can make it this up. Oh, I see it. I see the sock in the distance. Okay, whoa. That guy just rolled off for no reason. All right, let's see. 
Jump, jump. Can I make this? I really hope I can. Oh yeah, we can, no problem. We're fine. So there we go. And let's grab this sock right there. So that is 15 socks in total right now, and all the socks in Sand Mountain. So now I'm heading over to Rock Bottom where I have another two socks to find. So I'm in the museum here at Rock Bottom, and it looks like there's one right over this way. So I don't know what the best way to make this jump is, but I'm hoping this right here, there we go. Awesome, so there is another sock for us, and there's another one right over there. Okay, so both of them, both of them were, yeah, that's not an underwear, right? Yeah, that's a sock. So both of them were basically right across from each other here in the museum. That makes it much easier. Alrighty then, so there we go, boom. Yep, it will. So there we go, there's rock bottom completed as well, so now we're looking over this way where we have Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Well, actually, I guess it was Kelp Forest that we did first. There's actually four of them to find here in the Kelp Forest, so let's get to it. So the first one here in Kelp Forest is one that we've actually struggled with in the past trying to get, so we'll see if this turns out any better this time, but I gotta jump up these as fast as I can. Um, Oh my, oh my, oh no! So that's why I gotta try a couple of times. I think if I mess it up, I have to just teleport or warp back in. Uh, that's gonna be tough, but if we can get up there, then we just have to jump up through the leaves and get the sock. There we go. Okay, we made it this time. And then I just gotta get up here, do not fall now. This is the easy part. And there's the sock. And got it. So there's our first sock. We still have like, what, three more left to find? So they're around somewhere. So you can actually see one in the distance in the water over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and land here with Patrick. Just toss this ice cube and, well, let's try that again. <laughs> toss the ice cube into the water. There we go. We should just be able to skate over to that one. So there we go, there's our second one already. Hey, this is mine. Yeah, it is. We're just looking for two more in the kelp forest. So here we are at the area where we would normally press some of the totems here down boy. with Patrick. Here and boy. I do see a sock off that way. I remember struggling to get over to it before, but maybe now, since we've gotten the level done, and I probably activated something along the way, uh, maybe now it's, it's actually reachable. I'm just gonna go this way for right now, and we'll find out. Uh, yeah, because I can just go up here. I think I was trying to jump across to the other side before, but now if we just do this, boom, there we go. So there is sock three of the four we were looking for. So yeah, we're just looking for one more. Hopefully that one won't be too difficult, because this is where like the level got really challenging. Oh, I think this might be a different path. I don't know, I'm sliding down right now with our tongue. And then, oh, yeah, this is definitely new for me. Oh, there it is, okay, the final sock right here on the slide. Not too bad then. So there we go, that is all of the socks. Okay, I guess I could pause from here. Uh, all the socks in the kelp forest. Now we gotta go to the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard where I never found a single one of the socks. There's only three of them though, so hopefully it won't be too bad to find them. So we're in the first area. I actually went to the second area as and went and got like a bus stop for Sandy. Cause I noticed all of these little Texas floating things and I didn't remember actually going on these. So we're gonna try this out really quickly and see where these lead. Probably to a sock somewhere. Yep, I already see it. How did I miss that before? I don't know, but we're just gonna get across like that and we made it. There we go. Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Only a couple more, yeah. All right, come on, there we go. And I'm just gonna make my way back and try to find the next sock now. Oh, there it is. Okay, I've been looking all over for this one. I guess, wow, that's really sneaky. You could've just jumped over and just gone right past that. So there we go. That one was a bit of a tough one for sure. We're just sort of farther into the uh, graveyard area. This is after we would've talked to Squidward. So now I have to look for the third and final sock, wherever it may be. There are not very many of them here, but they're all very difficult to get. Oh, there it is, right up here. Can I reach that as SpongeBob or do I need Sandy? I got it, awesome. So there is another level done, Flying Dutchman's Graveyard, all three of them there. So we got the Kelp Forest done. Obviously there aren't any in the Chum Bucket Lab, but we have one more level up to find some more. There's one sock missing somewhere in SpongeBob's dream. Oh, here we go, here we go. There we go, all right, so that should be, as far as I understand, every sock in the game, which is a little bit weird because yeah, I, I feel like we're, we're ending on a on a not a number not divisible by 10, so maybe I should double check. There's five out of five, three out of three. Uh, obviously none in there. There's Kelp Forest, Rock Bottom, Mermelair, Sand, Mountain, Ghoul Lagoon. Oh yeah, that's right. Well, we still have five more to find at Bikini Bottom. How did I forget about that? Okay, so let's go back to Bikini Bottom and try to find five more socks. Oh, that got us a sock. Okay, so I guess we're destroying everything in Squidward's room. We got a sock. Be glad to have this back. So that's already four out of eight. Okay, so I'm glad that you know I didn't forget about all these bikini bottom ones. There's still plenty more to do around here, apparently. 
Oh, you know what? I don't think I've ever entered Patrick's house before. Living under a rock. Now I, that's the life. I don't remember if we've done this. He has a nice picture of SpongeBob and Patrick. Oh, there we go. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Sock hiding under his sand couch. Fascinating. Okay, see, so yeah, that was actually another really easy sock. The king of map. Oh. Okay. Well, we were here in this, this. I think it's called the Sandy Shoals. It is the, uh, you know, the entrance to the Mermelair. And hitting the TV got us another sock. All right, just two more left to find. Whoa, whoa, oh, okay. Was that always there, or is that from? Huh. Maybe that was from hitting the fountain. Not bad. So that means there's just one more sock left to find here in Bikini Bottom, and in the entire game. Oh, okay. I guess destroying everything in the Krusty Krab also gets us a sock. I was pretty sure we already did that, so I was skeptical this was gonna work, but I was getting a little desperate trying to find the sock. All right then, very cool. So let's run over here and boom. And with that sock opera, we've gotten every single sock in the game. So there's two th two more things I wanna do to finish off today's episode. I wanna go to Patrick, deliver all of his socks, and then go to, to um, the Mr. Krabs and deliver all of his shiny stuff so that hopefully we'll have all 100 of the golden spatulas in the game. And then I'll see if I can't refight the final boss and see 100% ending. I'm not really sure if it'll let me for whatever reason when I tried before it wasn't letting me. You know what, Mr. Krabs is right here. Let's go ahead and do this one then. The 12,000 shiny objects for this spatula, no problem. And I think he goes up by 3,000 every time, so this one should be 15,000, yep. There we go. So we're just gonna keep doing this. We have plenty of sparklies just for this, so yeah. So. 18,000 now, there we go. We're not gonna have too many after this, but hey, there we go, at 95 now. So that's There's 21,000. So I think there might be one more we can get from him. Or no, was that it? So that's no, okay, here we go. So yeah, hopefully that's all he's gonna ask for because that's all the shinies I have. The only good robot is the one that's given me them shiny objects. So he doesn't even say thank you after all that. Wow, okay. Well, that's cool. As you can see here, we got all of them. So Patrick, of course, is back by his house over this way. So we just gotta give him all of his socks back, and then we should be good. <laughs> that's crazy. It's been a long adventure, but it's been a ton of fun for sure. Hello, Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home. Here's your go Yep, there we go. Uh, so there's one. So we're gonna get two more from him. Here we go. Is gonna be golden spatula number 99. I wish he said something different every time, but instead he says the same thing every time. Okay, one more. Here we go. Wow, Sponge. Now there's your I don't Okay, same thing again. So let's see what he says now that we've got our 100th golden spatula. Hello. Now if I could only find my other sock. It's on your head, remember? Well, of course. Now where did I put it? <laughs> So there we go, we got the, a couple of things. Whoa, look at that, we got the Platinum Trophy. So we got Neptune Spatula, which means the Platinum Trophy, at least for PlayStation games, means that you've gotten every other trophy in the game. So I guess that truly means we've 100% completed the game now, which is awesome. And if we were to go to our options and save the game, you can see right here, 100. It doesn't give you a percentage counter, it just says 100. But there we go, that was a lot of fun. I'm really happy that we got all that done. There's one or two things I wanted to check out still. Like I said, I wanted to see if we can't refight the final boss and see the 100% ending, but just in case we can't, there was also, what was it, the police station had a little sort of showcase for all the enemies in the game. At the time, we hadn't seen all the enemies, so I wanted to take one last look at this. Uh, but yeah, a lot of fun. This was actually an even more fun game than I was expecting, and I was hoping it'd be fun, you know? <laughs> So, yeah, that's pretty cool. But here we go, Bikini Bottom Most Wanted. We got all the enemies here, and they will give us uh, different details. So we got Fodder, Nifty Electrical Touch Attack, uh, not tall enough to ride most roller coasters, but more vicious than a pack of rabid clams. G-Love, oh, I guess Glove, has the most vicious smack attack, hands down. Expert Foot mas Masseuse, uh, Lemon Squeezer, and does delightful hand puppet shows. Chuck, Annoying Missile Attack, likes to throw tantrums, and other various military grade or, or ordinance. All right then, uh, not terribly friendly. <laughs> we got a uh, bomb bot, bot follow you, go boom. This is just the bot to get get for the friend you like the least. <laughs> we got arf, uh, this here's one mean varmint. Packs a 45 caliber cat crusher, most powerful doghouse mate. Uh, 
Hammer, impressive meat byproduct attack, smarter than it looks, goes well with broccoli and a nice Chianti, I don't know what that is. Uh, monsoon, shocking electrical attack, rather sensitive, reads poetry, likes pants or plants, <laughs> and enjoys zapping wandering denizens. The two blit comes in threes or in six packs with a coupon. An explicable jello attack stays crunchy even in milk. Ew. Uh, bzz, bot, lemon scented gamma ray attack, somewhat unpredictable, borrows money without returning it, blasts things at random. <laughs> Arf dog, pesky little critter, bites the hand that feeds it. Impressive array of tricks, fetches sponges, chases squirrels, spontaneously combusts. And then uh, down this way, uh, we got a little nostril of uh, different enemies. Tartar, uncanny flying tartar sauce attack. Smells somewhat better than stale fish. I'd hope so. Sleepy time, mostly harmless and less woken. Somewhat moody, likes to express himself by blasting everything in sight or finger painting. We got Slick, disgusting oil blob attack. Doesn't wear underwear or bathe very regularly. Just the kind of robot your mother warned you about, kids. Uh, Chompbot, somewhat unstable critter, beware of his stinky doggy breath, likes to chew toys, random citizens, and mimes. And then finally, Plankton. Plankton is the finest model citizen I know. He likes helping people, singing, hacking computers, uh, never mind that last bit. Plankton's the best. All right, well, I guess he hacked the computer for it to say that. See, that was actually a lot of fun, and like I said, I'll take a quick look over here at the Chum Bucket Lab. Can we just teleport here and take on the boss again? I would really appreciate that, but I don't think it works that way, unfortunately. Um, we'll see. Nope, which is so weird. What else is the point? Because you can also teleport here, but just like last episode, I looked at that and nothing would happen. So what happens if I go to like rum Rumble the Poseidon? Can I refight the Sandy boss? I don't know. <laughs> so I guess we'll take a look at this and see, but once again, it just, what's the point of just going to the Poseidon and going, yep, this is the Poseidon. I feel like if people want to teleport back here, it's because they want to refight the boss. <laughs> Anyways, this has been a very fun series. Maybe we'll do more. I think there might be like a multiplayer mode or something. Obviously, I don't know if we'll be able to check that out, but I'll consider it for sure. Let me know if you'd like to see more of the game. And hopefully they release more SpongeBob games in the future because I'll definitely play them. Uh, but for right now, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode of SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.